Thank you for tuning in. Hello there, I'm Kyla Grogan from HXGN TV. So communications managers, crime analysts, police chiefs, and other agency personnel, they all need access to accurate data, and they need it as fast as possible. But how do you ensure everyone has the same information and that it's always current? Well, today we have Judy Juba from the Santa Clara Police Department to discuss how better access to accurate data can help agencies achieve greater efficiency. So thank you so much for joining us today, Judy. This is interesting stuff. It is, and thank you for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. So let's talk a little bit first about your position at Santa Clara Police Department. Tell us what you do. Absolutely, I'm the communication manager. So I'm in charge of 911 services, basically. Uh, we have services to police and fire, and we also do emergency medical dispatching. So as you can see from my job, it's data is extremely important uh, for our profession. Okay, and what types of data do people across your department need to access like on a regular basis? So, you know, our department is extremely data driven and that comes from our city, our city government, our ma city manager's office. And so um, our performance measures are data driven. Our, um, anything we do in terms of the communication center itself, but we're talking about specifically, we're talking about calls for service, police service, calls for fire service, uh, response times is a huge one. Um, we look at trends in crimes and we, you know, uh, analyze that kind of data. So um, a lot of our responses and a lot of the, our tactics that we take are driven by the data that we gather from our um, systems. Okay, so how do you ensure that this data is consistent like across all users? That's a very good question. And that's been something that we at the Santa Clara Police Department have struggled with for a long time. Uh, with the new Insight Advantage or Insight reporting that we've uh, recently purchased from Hexagon, we've been able to um, kind of you know, got, gotten it to a place where we're all on the same same page. And what I mean that is we, um, so when we first got it, we had put everybody in the room who uses data, right? So we got our crime analyst there, we got our business analyst there, somebody who works for the chief's office, yep. my division, the fire department, and we all sat in a room and we said, okay, what reports do you need built? And we built reports together as a collaboration. Mm -hmm. And from that, through um, the dashboard, we can publish these reports so that everybody, once they're once they're created and published, they're all the data is streaming from the same place, the same location, and they're all um, they can all be accessed by different people. All you have to do is manipulate dates and times. Gotcha. So everybody's accessing the same report. So it doesn't matter who, whether the chief runs it, whether a crime analyst runs it. It's all the same report, and that has been extremely important for our um, department. All right, because then it's available to everybody. It's available and it's accurate, and you know that everything that's being pulled from is the same no matter who pulls the data, and that was something that we had struggled with. Okay, so what about special requests? Because those certainly can be really time consuming. How have you been able to minimize the time it takes to run a report and then be able to provide that needed information quickly? They are extremely time consuming. And you know, a lot of times I am asked to, to run a report from a, a city manager or you know, even the chief and I have to stop everything I'm doing and I have to create the report and, and do that. Well, so with our new data analytics, I can either, once the report is built, so the first time it's built, so what happens a lot of times is they say, I need you know dates from this time to this time. Right. I, I build the report and then they come back and go, oh yeah, well, we don't need this, we don't need that. You know, So you're constantly having to, to stop what you're doing and build the report again. Well, with this platform, it's very easy to go in and change the data that we need or want, You know, exclude it or include it. Right. And then it, all it is, is changing the dates uh, and the time. So it's it's so much easier and it, it takes a lot of uh, uh, you know stress off my job. Right. And the other thing too is anybody can do it now because we have people who can access it where somebody, again, and the reports are built so they can go in there and they can reaccess it if I'm not available. And that has been much more efficient for our department. Can have a self-serve option. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which when things are needed in a timely manner, that's... And sometimes they need things fast. Right. And if I'm not available, like this, for instance, this week I'm at a conference, so, but I have people back at home that can run the report and I don't have to worry about it. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so how has your agency leveraged data insights to support policing efforts? Because that's interesting when you think about what data can be as a crime fighter, right? It is, and you're, it, that's true. And our department, we're pretty progressive. Um, our crime analyst, uh, we, we, you know, and I'll just use an example. We had a rash of um, burglary break-ins in our city, and um, our crime analyst, we so we started tracking them in in our computer-aided dispatch system CAD, and we, um, so when people called in and said their their uh, vehicle got broken into, we created a CAD event. Yeah. 
even though we were maybe even um, reporting them online, taking the report online, but we still made a cut of it. So our crime analyst was able to go into our, our analytics and pull all those cases from where people were reporting the crime and she was able to do a predictive policing model from that. Wow. So what happens is she takes all that information and she, she can um, dictate when they might hit based on patterns. That's amazing. And this is all done through our data analytics. So then you can have increased presence. Yes and yep. kind of have our so neighbors we, looking out. That exactly, kind of thing. so we have the police, we have um, special details for our police uh, patrol officers to go out there during predictive policing um, times and they, you know, either the presence, just them, you know, um, yeah. patrolling around um, gets them, you know, gets the, the crooks to go away. Or we've even had big, huge operations countywide based on this analytic uh, information that's being pulled out of our CAD. System. So obviously this has worked well for you guys. What advice would you provide to an agency that wants to deploy their own analytic system that's thinking about doing this? You know, I think the key for us is collaboration, is getting all the people in the room who need to run reports, who um, need access to the reports, and to understand what they need at the end of the day. Because once you create the report, then it's there forever. And right. um, you can, you know, you can manipulate or you cannot. But I think for me, I think anybody, you know, starting out would be just absolutely having the collaboration and getting the right people in the room to, to build the reports. Okay, what are your future plans for leveraging analytics? Are you going to take this a little further? Um, sure, I mean, we're always looking at, at, you know, things we can do in the future. I think what what I foresee is getting, getting more people um, access to that dashboard platform because, again, if there's, a, there's, you know, seven or eight of us who can build reports, if I can pass that, their reports, and have them just be able to access the information just by manipulating a date, not doing right. anything else but manipulating a date, they can run their own reports and that, that efficiency throughout the department will, you know, give us more time in our day to do the things that we need to do and not constantly be running um, data, data analytics for people. So, I mean, we're, you know, we're doing a lot in, in leverage and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more predictive policing um, yep. from it. Um, so, yeah. Well, it sounds like it. there's been a lot of success with that, right? There has been so far, yes. Very cool. Well, thank you. That was really interesting stuff. I, thank I you. like hearing that it's working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Judy. For more information about today's topic, you can visit hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. And to watch additional episodes or to learn more, of course, you can always visit hxgnspotlight.com. Thanks for tuning in.